Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here, back with another Epic 7 video. And today we are doing another episode of the Guild War Offense Guide um, against a skill called Scarlet War. And I realize I've never shown you guys my defense before. And uh, I don't know, I just want to take this opportunity to do so. And they have kind of been inting into my defense. Um, first defense, to be honest, was created like as a meme. Um, I just wanted to like bring in a says because nobody uses them and i was like oh you know it'd be so funny if i just blow them up with says s3 and apparently it's been working out pretty well <laughs> uh this guild has been struggling against it definitely but even like last guild which we lost against like this was the only wait, let's scroll up scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. there we go this was the only defense that won uh, last skill, I, I I changed my defense a little bit, and I, I actually tend to change my defense quite often, um, just because I don't know I like changing things up. I like building new defenses, um, like kind of theory crafting. Um, but yeah, so I have Commander Lilius, I have um, Rimuru and Sez for my first team, Water Sez, and second team is Maid Chloe, Milam, and um, Rem. I mean. So for me, I like having uh, Milam on my defense team because Milam's like one of my favorite units. Um, as you can see from my videos, I use her a lot. Um, so I like, and the whole reason why she's on counter is because I want to use her for a defense. So um, yeah, that's uh, what I have on the bottom team. And this top team, it's a meme, but it's been working. Um, we'll see if it continues working. Uh, the idea is that... Um, and this is a secret that I'll share with you guys um, who are watching this. Um, Rimuru pretty much takes something down to 50% all the time with his S3, like no matter what the unit is, unless it's like really, really tanky. Um, and then says S3s when something's under 50%. So I'm like, well, let's just Rimuru right into says, and I speed tune them to go right after one another. So, um, yeah, and usually Lilius takes away buffs so that Rimuru probably isn't going to be stealing, like, isn't going to be cutting forward. And if he does, there's a good chance that says might be the next unit up. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so Rimuru S3s takes the unit down to 50%, um, says S3s, and blows up their team. That's kind of how it works. Um, but yeah. Um, we have the Skilled War against uh, Scarlet War. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content as usual. Be sure to hit that like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below if you want, you know, I don't know, maybe a Guild Wars defense guide for once. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy. All right, so here's the first fight. Um, for the top team, I went with Rimuru, Violet, Made Chloe, very typical, uh, the usual lineup that I go with whenever I go up against these Rancy Serie lineups. Um, as always, Rimuru is an excellent counter to Rancis area because he steals the immunity um, so that the uh, Sari can't let any bombs. And then we just have the Violet there as a backup just in case anything happens. Um, and then the second team, we have our own Cesaria lineup um, against the FCC Celine um, Archdemon Mercedes uh, lineup. So the reason why I have Aoa, um, or sorry, Singelica there is just for the attack buff because she's a fast attack buffer that I have. Um, so the one thing that I didn't see coming is that the Amaru is very, very tanky. So um, you'll see in a moment what happens. Um, if I were to do it again, I would have probably S2 the FCC. That would have probably killed her, um, and I should have won. But yeah, uh, it didn't really matter too much because uh, my guild was like winning this guild war very handily. So I was like, ah, all right, whatever. We'll just play a riskier gameplay. If I were to go with a more, um, I guess, normal lineup, that would be a guaranteed win. You could just SSB this team or you could landy it. Either one's fine. Um, just because Celine can't counter counterattacks. Um, so your SSB would just kill her. And then a uh, mayor also does a ton of AOE, so you can build up your stacks really quickly and just death break and kill the enemy really quickly. So that's what I would do. Use SSB, have a bait um, for the Amaru, and uh, have a bait for the um, Selene as well. So dark tank or like dark bait, 
um, use like FCC, Trozet, and then a light bait, uh, use probably like Ruel or Maid Chloe or Doris or something like that. Something without a passive, of course, because um, the A marrow is going to be hitting you a lot with that seal. But yeah, so that is what I do. Um, enjoy the fight. All right, let's go. And this HD pack is uh, looking nice. Let's see here. Let's not get hit. Thank you for not getting hit. <laughs> oh, God. And every time, it's always so iffy. Um, I'm just going to kill this guy, and there should not be any threat. Mm, I'm going to do this, not S3, because I want to be able to keep the S3 just in case I need to cleanse. All right, let's see, nice hit. And uh, it's GG. All right, let's hope this kills the ADS because I've heard it's very, very tanky. Please kill. Oh my god, it didn't kill. That is not good. That is not good. Oh my god, it didn't land. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, my bomb didn't land. It got 15 percent in. Uh how are we going to do this? Are we going to be even be able to win this? I don't think we can. Yeah, I think I think uh this one is uh this one's a wrap. It was a risky. It was a riskier team cuz I know the the ADS was uh very tanky, but I thought I might be able to kill it. I guess not. All right. So for the second fight um, we have a Violet ML Celine AOL team up top and an FCC made Landy on bottom. And as I've said many times in the past, single DPS lineups, really bad. So don't do it. Um, top team, I just went with Landy because Landy doesn't get countered by the Violet when you hit it with the S3. And the Celine also doesn't counter when you have Landy there as well when she's hitting S3. So it's just a pretty straightforward fight. Um, you could lose if you get really unlucky against the Violet, but usually that doesn't happen because it's a, technically a 50-50, right? So um, yeah, most likely the Violet will be the last one standing, and then you're going to you know, perhaps be RNGing against him. Um, with your Landy, because she's not going to get her S3 up as often. But hopefully, throughout the fight, you'll be hitting him every now and then with your S3, so you don't have to deal with him being the last one alive. Um, that's probably the safest. Um, just use Landy, use a tank, a bait for the Selene, and then have a Reviver. Revivers are always safe. Um, another team you could go with is probably like a... I don't know, like a Carrot. Carrot's probably really good against this team too, just because um, Carrot, you don't build her with crit, so the Selene's probably not going to be countering. Your burns are probably going to kill her really quickly. Um, if you want to be extra safe, you can make like a fast um, pusher, like a bring like a, uh, a melee or something like that, so you can push uh, before the Selene takes a turn. Then you don't have to worry about the counter, um, and Carrot will just you know win against the Violet. So yeah, Carrot's also really good in this. Um, Bottom team, I would say that, um, well, I first I went with uh, Milam, Emilia, and AOL. Um, AOL is just there to hold a book. 
That's about it, because I'm going to Soulburn S1 and S3 the Landy just to make sure I kill her, because I'm afraid, like, maybe she's really tanky, right? Then uh, S3 might not kill right off the bat, and she'll get revive buff. So I don't want that, that to happen. So I just bring in the book holder so I can Soulburn S1 and S3 and just extinct her there, and then me, Chloe, can't do anything, and you just win. Um, if you don't have Milim, as always, Carrot is also a good option, but also um, Sh Charlotte. Charlotte is also a really good option. Anything that'll take that landy out of stealth, hit her a lot, um, a lot of AoEs, anything like that. It's going to be very good against landy. So yeah, enjoy the fight. Let's do this. So right here when she S3s, the good part is that... Um, my Landy does not actually get stripped of her immunity. So, you know, we can just go in here and uh, it's all good. Going to S3 here. Um, it looks like I did get silenced on my Ruel, but that's fine. S3 again. Unfortunately, the Selene doesn't die there because she's got immortality, but that should still be fine. I'm going to try to provoke this girl because she did get Spirit's Breath. Nice. And since she got Spirit's Breath, she um, next turn will be S3ing again. So I'm just going to try my best to kill her first, um, and my Landy will kill the Selene on this next turn. So there we go. She is gone, and then, nice. Um, let us kill her. Ooh, missed my crit, that's not good. Um, I don't wanna S1 onto him, but I kinda have to. Cause I wanna save my heals just in case anything iffy happens. Hit, no hit. So my landy will have S3 again, which is nice. Hopefully it hits. Please hit. No, no hit. So we play the 50-50 uh, gamer here. And see if uh, we can stop getting unlucky. Ooh, nice. Got him. Yep. Yeah. Alright, next round. So here, AOL, or yeah, AOL is just here for the book. I don't think I kill with this. Hopefully not. Nice. Okay. And then S3, and then it's a done deal. I'm just going to S3 to cycle, as usual. And then push her up to give her attack buff. And then we just kill. It would be nice if we could get a counter in here, too. But, uh, you know, that's never going to happen. Just gonna keep silencing her so she doesn't um, give like revive buff just because it's gonna make things take longer. Oh, I always forget to turn on the volume. Shoot, that was the wrong button. Um, there we go. Let me fix the camera real quick. Or the screen. Uh, there we go. Wait, what? It still looks weird. <laughs> oh, it's because I have this panel to the right. That's right. Okay. 
Uh, there we go. On behalf of the creator, I will deliver judgment. I usually don't play with sounds as a thing. I don't know. I just prefer not to have it on. Even though I feel like a lot of people are like, the sounds kind of make the game. For me, I'm just not that drawn to it. Normally I like, you know, when, as I'm playing, like I, I like running it in the background, right? When I'm um, just like autoing, so I have the sounds off, I guess. That's probably why. Cause like, I don't want to have the sounds running in the background while I'm playing. Um, other stuff that lends autoing. Let's push up for the attack buff again. I think we should lap. Yeah, especially now that I'm pushing her back. And then we... I don't think I even need to do this. So we'll just do this. And then we kill. Easy. And then here is the last fight. So we have a Violet uh, LQC maid lineup up top. Um, and then the um, C. Lilius, Landy, and Spectenny on the bottom. So top team, um, I went with Zahawk as my DPSer and I brought... Um, Sinji on top as well because I don't want so the goal of my like what I want to do right is Sinji buffs attack then my Zahawk goes and kills the Violet with S3 and then since Sinji's on the field you can't um with her S3 she can't revive right so Maid can't revive Violet stays dead and then hopefully Zahawk has enough damage to kill the LQC um next but if not it's not like a really big deal right you'll just kill her the turn after or something like that um and then Maid is just left alone um bottom team well i guess first we'll go up and in, into like some other options for this um again carrots probably a pretty good option you could uh kill the violet pretty quickly uh charlotte is going to be a really good option as well uh, of course millum who is i'm using on the bottom team is a really good option um wanda probably do really well it, it, the thing is just like because the lqc doesn't possess much it doesn't have much of a it's not very threatening, right? If you have enough sustain slash like, you know, if you don't bring any dark units, she doesn't really do all that much damage. I brought um, Sinji here just because like she won't die even if she has threes. So um, like if she gets hit by the LQC S3, so that's why I brought her, but you don't have to bring a dark unit, right? All you really need to do is just bait the Violet and bring something to be able to hit him like Charlotte or yeah, Charlotte or um, Wanda or you know, Milam, um, Biseria, something like that. Something to help uh, that will be able to hit him. The other thing you could do is probably, it's a little more riskier. Um, you could do the um, Caesarea, like Ran Caesarea or something like that. It'll probably take care of this pretty easily just because the Vile is probably not going to be on immunity. Hopefully you'll have people scouting for you so that you have that info beforehand. Um, yeah, that's what I do on top. Bottom team, I went with um, P SC Pilus, uh, Milam, and Amelia. I mean, I really could have used any dark tank up there. It could have been Trozette. It could have been um, FCC. But I think SC Pilus is actually a really good counter against, or like a soft counter-ish against uh, the C. Lilius because she gets a passive 60% effect resist if she's above 70% HP. So you could get effect resist pretty easily on Pylus, so she can avoid the debuffs from the C. Lilius. Then after that, when she takes a turn, she can S3 to remove a debuff, so all of the attack downs on your team will be gone, and then it'll also provoke, right? You can provoke the C. Lilius, then when the C. Lilius dual attacks into you, you'll get extra defense stacks. It's, it's really nice. I think she's a pretty good answer to C. Lilius for that reason. Um... But, unfortunately, I actually didn't build enough effect resist on my pilots. I we still won, but, you know, it just didn't show up as well in the Guild Wars fight. But, yeah, you can use any dark tank there. You can use Lilius, or not Lilius. You can use um, FCC. You could use Trozette, um, whatever you want down there. Maybe even an A-Robby could work out. Um, just something to tank up. Of course, a Robbie's not as good because she's not providing an Aureus to mitigate damage for the rest of your team. But... It, it should be fine. Like, you should kill the 
Landy pretty quickly um, with your Milam, who I actually used on book this time around just because I wanted to make, again, she's going to get Vigor, so um, I wanted a Soulburn S1 and S3 to get the um, guaranteed kill on the Landy. Um, and then even though they have, like, a Spectre Tenebria, right, she doesn't do enough damage to, I guess, kill your team over time. Um, you'll kill the Lilius before she kills anybody on your team, and then you can finish her off. So, yeah, that's why I went with that team. If you don't have this team, again, Charlotte works really well because she hits everybody. Um, you might even be able to use your own Landy if you're confident enough that your Landy's strong enough. Um, Carrot will probably work as well. Um, who else? <sighs> yeah. Those are some options. I'm sure there are some other options out there as well that I'm not thinking of. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, of course, don't bring any counter units um, because, like, don't bring on any units that you rely on their counter to win. One, because that's RNG, and two, those two units, Landy and Spectenny, ignore counters. They don't proc counters. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the fight. All right, let's do this. These are kind of some riskier teams than I'd like, but, uh, you know... I want to showcase some newer units where I can. The power to take another's life. All right, so here we go. We're gonna S3 the Zahak to kill the Violet, and he cannot get revived because of my um, sinful Angelica. So I, one of the things I'm wondering is, can I kill? this um lqc before she goes we'll see oh if my zahak was molded maybe because <laughs> that's one's not fully molded but it's okay it's all within the calculations that's why um okay so we'll just heal her i don't think i really need to but because she should die here for my Zahawk. Oh! <laughs> Almost did. She barely lived. Okay. Oh my gosh. And and uh, she didn't have her immortality on. That's why. I was like, oh, wait. What? Why'd she go back? It's like, oh, that's why. It's okay. We'll finish her off here. Please, filthy creatures. If my Zahak had been Molad, she would have died. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm not afraid. I'm uh, waiting because I'm waiting to get Friendship Ten on him so I could um, just uh, pour in the mold, like so I don't have to pour in the molas there. Then again, you know, even if I max him out right now, if I get a Friendship Ten later, I'll get the molas back. Eh, whatever. I probably should have thought of that. All right, easy fight number one. And this fight, I don't technically have to win, but um, I'd like to win. Ooh, this is a decently high effectiveness. Um, what you want to call it? Uh, Lilius. But it's okay. I'm not relying on my pilots there to win anyways. But I was trying to showcase that Pilots is a good um, counter to Lilius, or like a good like answer to Lilius, but um, I guess uh, I couldn't showcase that. Because <laughs> um, normally what would happen is she would resist, and then um, I'd be able to provoke and cleanse and all that, and uh, it would have been good, but... I guess not today. Focus. Try harder. Look at all the defense buff. You. So we're gonna S3 here. It's gonna provoke her. And give um, CR to everyone. I'm gonna push her up. This one. And then hopefully that kills. But yeah. Normally, all I'm supposed to do is when Lilius um, does her skills, the Pillis should be resisting, but my Pillis isn't super high effect resist. I wasn't expecting the Lilius to be very high effectiveness, but I guess it was decently high. Um, 
But yeah, I'm supposed to resist, and then I was supposed to cleanse the attack downs, and then uh, also provoke there, and then get a bunch of defense from the attacks. But whatever, we still won at the end of the day. All right, so here is my Pillis. Um, she's kind of the only new unit that I use compared to other Guild Wars, because um, I showed uh, my stats in another video, which I guess I could bring up on a card over here. But um, so she is missing a little bit of stats because she doesn't have a reforged ring, because I don't know, manifestation stones are hard to come by. But she's, you know, tanky, speedy-ish, Got some effect resistance, um, and that's kind of how I want to build her. So how it's supposed to work is that Pillis, she, because of her specialty change, she has 64 effect resistance right here, but because of her specialty change tree, she has, when she's over 70% HP, she has 60% more effect resistance, so effectively she had... 120% effect resist, which I was hoping would be enough to resist the Lilius, but the Lilius had more effectiveness than I expected, so that didn't happen. Um, but Pillis is supposed to resist S3 to cleanse because her S3 cleanses one, um, one debuff and then provokes the Lilius, and then every time the Lilius goes into her, she increases the defense. Um, of the team and everybody around her. Um, and it was supposed to do that to counter Lilius, but the plan kind of went haywire in the South, but still, if I had more effect resist, it would have worked and I still won anyways. But yeah, I just wanted to show off that Pillis is a pretty good like answer to uh, Lilius for that reason. She makes it so that you're Getting cleansed, you're also taking less damage because of the defense buff, but also because of her skill tree, she makes it so that any types of like dual attacks or like counters um, right here will be uh, their damage will be decreased by 30%. And then you have Aureus on top of that, so then um, it's even less damage to your team. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video and uh, let me know down in the description uh, what you guys want to see next. All right, peace out.